In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, print, and export to Excel aged receivable reports. Let's zoom into it with Zero. Here we are in our Zero demo company dashboard. We're going to first be opening up the balance sheet because the balance sheet is going to be kind of like the parent document, the major financial statement for which the receivables reports will be supporting the accounts receivable account on the balance sheet. So we're going to be going to the accounting drop down. We're going to go down to our favorite report, that being the financial statement report the balance sheet report and then we'll go up top and we're going to right click on that tab up top we're going to duplicate that tab up top and we'll keep the date to uh december 31st 2019 i'm going to hold down control scroll up just a bit and then go on down to the balance sheet now within the balance sheet we have the accounts receivable the accounts receivable represents money that is owed to us so the money that is owed to us from let's say customers contacts or customers and uh, if we want more detail on that, like any other account, we can just simply drill down on the detail and we get kind of like a general ledger type of account, an account by transaction, the transactions by date. And that's great. However, what we want to see is not just a uh, detail by date, but by who owes us the money. And so that's going to be the other way we want to see the accounts receivable. The general ledger doesn't do it or the account here called the accounts receivable transactions, which is basically the general ledger doesn't do it. Therefore, we need another uh, subsidiary ledger of some kind, other reports that are going to give us this information by who owes us money. Now, note that this part of the cycle of the revenue cycle or sales cycle is one in which uh, many companies will have basically full time jobs to be tracking the uh, sales the accounts receivable who owes us money and of course the collection on them so we'll take a look at some of the reports that might be used to do that to, to think about this you might think about yourself it's the story we we're going to have here is like we're the bookkeeper we're doing the bookkeeping we're doing the accounting where they we're in the accounting department the owner or the boss says you know how much money do people owe us for that we go to the balance sheet we say oh people owe us uh two thousand sixty dollars and fifty three cents what's the next question who owes us that money, right? And when are we going to get it? When are we going to get the actual cash? That's who owes us money. When are we going to get the actual cash? How many accounts are out overdue? What's going to be the collection action on that? All right. For that, we're going to go to the first tab over here. Let's take a look at another report. I'm going to hold control down, go scroll down just a bit to get back to 100 so that we don't have anything funny happen after we navigate around. We're then going to go to the reports. And once again, I'm on the sales side of things. Now, you might be saying, hey, the sales side of things should be with regards to the income statement, the sales item, revenue item. But it's all kind of part of the same cycle, the accounts receivable and the sales cycle. So those two accounts are kind of related. It's part of the same cycle. It's kind of like the sales cycle uh, type of, of reports. So we're looking at these two items, the age receivable detail and the age receivable summary. If you are working in receivable, you will be having these as a star type of reports that will be showing up in your reports drop down here because it will be one in which you'll spend a lot of time. So let's go to the detailed one first. So let's open up the aged detail accounts receivable or aged receivable uh, detail report. I'm going to take this back to uh, 2019 because I think that's a little bit more interesting. So I want to look at the last year, last financial year, and let's update that report. So here we have it. Notice we're going to get some detail here. Let's go back into, let's go back up to 110 on the size. We've got the, basically the customers that owe us money. And then we have the amount that's due. The amount that's going to be due is now broken out to either being current, meaning we sent the invoice out and it hasn't, and as of this point in time, it's still current. So it hasn't yet been, been paid, but that's okay. It's within the pay period. Or we could have the customer that's in, within uh, one to 30 days past due or 31 to 60 days past due and so on and so forth. This can help to give us an idea of, of course, how past due the invoices are, the accounts receivable are, helping us with the collection item, also helping us with the determination of how much of the receivables we think are going to be uncollectible so we can give kind of a better estimate of uh, our uncollectible amounts. That's allowance if we have to recreate an, an allowance account or something like that to estimate the receivables that we think are not collectible a report such as this could be useful so we got who owes us money and we see of course the invoices for the detail of it and we see how outstanding these items are then if we sum these up then we've got the current uh and then overdue for 1 to 30 31 to 60. if i was to add those up it'd be nice if we have a total column here but we don't have a total column on this report so that's okay we'll add this thing up and say all right let's add this up we got the 1269.95 plus 5 
for 0 0.59 plus 250 and that's the 606 i mean the 206053 all right 206053 if we go back to the balance sheet we've got the 206053 so it's supporting the receivable number here so this number who how much do people owe us well they owe us 2060 53 cents who owes us that money and then we go, well, we can go, these people owe us that money. Not only that, but we got a few of these that are past due that are owed to us. And uh, these are the current items. Let's take a look at the other report. Let's take a look at the summary report, which will be the similar information, but with less of the uh, actual invoice detail on it. So we're going to go to the accounting drop down. We're going to go back to the reports then. And let's look at the aged receivable summary, which is uh, by default in the favorite reports. That means it's a big one it's an important one let's pull it back to our uh last year so end of last year so 2019 so similar information but now we have it uh, in a more summary detail we don't actually see the invoices on it so we can imagine then going through these people especially calling possibly the city here and asking for the past due amounts and we can sort this information by the past due amount so again these two reports sorting these reports are going to be uh, could be a full-time job or full-time department depending on the size of the organization these reports all fitting into the accounting's uh the receivable cycle or sales cycle this report in particular supporting the uh, accounts receivable number the accounts receivable is created by the creation of invoices that have not yet been paid okay so let's go ahead and print this one out let's do our similar our routine that we have been done doing we're going to be adding this to our list of reports so to do that let's go to the export let's uh, print it as a pdf or export it to the pdf here and there it is and then i'm going to put that into this folder over here so i'm just going to simply drag it in there so i'm going to say i want this to go there it didn't go it didn't grab there it goes why am i lo i'm losing it on the Okay, we were experiencing some strange problem with the dragging and had to restart the computer, but we are back now and it has successfully been dragged. So we're going to rename it. So I'm going to right click on it now and rename. And I'm going to call this the Aged Receivables Summary. And then I'm going to put it on this uh, Excel sheet. So I'm going to add it to this Excel sheet as well. So I'm going to open up that Excel sheet so that we can do that. So there is the Excel sheet. Then i'm gonna minimize this for now we're gonna then export it i'm gonna export it to excel so let's open it up to excel i'm not gonna save it because i just want to open it copy it put it in a new worksheet in my other workbook this workbook i want to put this new worksheet onto it here's the new worksheet i'm going to enable the editing so that i can uh, edit it and then i'm going to copy i'm going to bring this up and i'm going to copy the whole thing so i'm going to click on the triangle up top or i can hit Control a and uh, right click and then copy this entire thing then I'm going to minimize it I'm going to make a new tab in where we want it to go so we want a new tab for a new sheet I'm going to put it to the to the to the left or to the right double click on it and then this is going to be a r summary or I should put aging let's put aging aging that's good enough then it's going to go in a1 right click and I'll paste it there I lost it because for some reason let's copy it again copy and then i'll go back over and paste it in a1 i'm going to make this a bit larger bring this up to 150 so now we're at 150 like all the other sheets i'm going to pull this up just a bit so we can see that bottom portion i'm going to be looking at the page layout to see if it fits on a page looks like it does so that looks good here's our page break let's print them all out on one sheet now so i'm going to go to the file tab on the left, we're going to go down to the printing. We're going to be using the cute PDF printer. Again, free PDF printer, I believe. It's a free PDF printer. In order to print it as a PDF to do so, we're going to change it from the active sheet to the entire workbook. The entire workbook now having three pages in it. So here are the three pages in the workbook so far. So that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and print this out then. Selecting the print item up top, it's going to print it as the cute PDF printer. It should then uh, ask us where do we want to print it so or what do we want to save it like where do we want to put the pdf document we're going to put it right there i'm going to keep it at other reports so it's going to overwrite the other reports that's already there and that's what we want so i'm going to go ahead and do that and say go ahead and overwrite that here it is and now we have our options so we have the uh aged receivable which i can put into this folder 
And then we could attach this by attaching these three documents, say, to an email or printing them from here, but then you'd have to collate them. Or you can kind of zip this file and you can zip it like that and then attach the zipped file to an email which has the three folders in it. Or you can give someone the, the Excel worksheet or print it from there and it'll be collated for you. Or you can uh, give somebody the PDF file or print from the PDF file, which again will be collated for you if you were to print from, from it or and give you that kind of just one attachment if you were to provide that document to someone else.